Yo, what is going on guys, Warcrux here and welcome back to the channel. I really hope you like trading card games as much as I did back in the day. I absolutely love Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, Pokemon. It really hit home for me. So watching the global event reveal brought back a lot of nostalgia, but this is no cap, fellas. Yes, they're bringing trading card games into the Elder Scrolls Online. Not just physical trading card games, but actually an in-game system that allows you to duel other players with decks that you've created. This is one of but of many topics we are going to cover in this video, so go grab you some chips, go grab you a drink, it's going to be an interesting one fellas, let's hop right into it. Welcome back guys and before we get into the bread and butter of today's video a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat if you want to learn how to help support the channel more details on that at the end. Now you guys may think I'm joking about trading card games I'm even going to elaborate on this further and they and Zoss has actually applied that they are going to remove Cyrodiil and replace it with a card game so we're going to roll a few unedited clips here and let me know what you guys think. So for those familiar with Tamriel in the second area, or maybe not, talk a little bit about the Three Banners War and where it's left Tamriel. Sure, so the Three Banners War is currently raging throughout Tamriel, and it has left the land fractured, with all the factions vying for power over Cyrodiil and the Imperial City. And this year-long story is focused on a dream to end that war. It's going to be an adventure. We've discussed the upcoming story and location for our High Isle, but we have a new game system coming with this chapter as well. And I've been waiting this whole time to talk about it because it features something I love. It's a collectible card game. You're right. And we're calling this new system Tales of Tribute. It's a collectible card game that is played entirely within ESO. This is something I've always wanted to see oh, come to ESO. And I'm in super ESO, excited this might be cool. So how will Tales Battle, of Tribute like be integrated into the game? Like, am I playing it wherever I want? Is it certain situations? How does this work? You're generally going to be able to play it anywhere. You'll find it in taverns throughout Tamriel. You can also just go up to somebody and challenge them directly, or you can find a match in the group UI. And in addition, there is a storyline that you could advance. So this is the new PvP fucking card games, world. boy, Digimon. Or you can play against other players as it has its own ranking system as well. <laughs> so there's a single player kind of thing. Fuck and there's also we a got card games, with boys. Its own ranking system. Oh, this is getting better and better. <laughs> now, how, how do I earn new cards, new decks? I assume there's, there's some of both. How, how do I go about doing that? Yeah, so once you complete the tutorial, you unlock the four starter decks and that's what gets you in let's go i'm actually right hype about this and let's then as get you it. explore the world you complete the quests, love the card games uh, dude. you will start to unlock and find new patron decks that add to your your cards you will also find unique individual upgraded cards as well so there's lots of exploration tacked on top of it so you said the ccg was different than other ones so which one is this like is this a resource building game is this a, a combat game what what, what am i going to be doing so this is a resource building game where you're both working towards trying to reach the victory point goal. And you can do that in a bunch of different ways. You can use the patrons themselves to curry favor, to help you advance through it. So it's all about strategy rather than combat. And essentially we're on a race to get to a certain oh number boy, of card points packs gathered soon. They did it. before our opponents, oh, right? They found a way to make more I money. What in the game? Like I assume I'm just not unlocking cards and decks. Do I get to unlock stuff in ESO itself? Absolutely. There are tons of different rewards uh, in this, ranging from cosmetics to furnishings to gold to crafting materials, including transmute stones, Popular. which is something players really, really want. Uh, so there's really something for everyone here. And I really want to enforce one big point when it comes to Tales of Tribute. And that is you're not going to be at a disadvantage if you're playing someone who's already unlocked all the cards, uh, all the upgrade cards, uh, because at the start of the game, you pick two decks to put into play. Your opponent picks two decks. They're shuffled together and you both play from that same common deck. That's shit. So it's not only balanced so that I can play somebody who's been playing forever unlocked, but I also get maybe a chance to try some cards or decks that, that I haven't unlocked yet. Absolutely, yep. Super cool, so excited about this. And I'm sure we got a lot more to share on this. We do, we just scratched the surface. This is a really big system. 
So as we get closer to PTS, we'll give a lot more detail and have a big deep dive on this. So stay tuned. We're really, really excited for it. Okay, so I'm sure you've heard the old adage, be careful what you wish for, you might just get it. We got it. We got it. We asked for PvP changes and a new system to kind of keep us busy in the Elder Scrolls Online, whether it be update, uh, I can't even talk right now, updates to Battlegrounds, Cyrodiil, something of that nature, something new to keep the PvP people occupied. Well, here it is, fellas. I really hope you like Pokemon. I really hope you like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I'm not even being facetious about this. Will this replace Cyrodiil? I mean, let, let's be honest, uh, it's probably not going to replace Cyrodiil, but I do believe Orcrux has quoted that Cyrodiil has run its course and we need to get rid of it. Y'all call me crazy, Zilla called me crazy, everyone called me crazy, that is an extremist idea. Just like the Ascendant Order, which we still need to talk about, I have a whole list of things that we need to discuss. That looks really cool on the, uh, the green screen, actually. Yo, that, that looks really cool. But yeah, so we got a lot to discuss in that regard. Um, I like card games. Now, I'm not sure how you guys feel about gambling, but I feel that this is going to enable gambling so hard. Like if you thought the crown crates was a gamble, it's, it's, I don't know how this is going to go. I, do you guys remember RGB, red, green, blue, when people used to go to the dueling areas and bet on the Prog Convention Guardian, people would lose millions and millions of gold betting on whether it be red, blue, or green. Well, this is going to be that exact scenario, but it's going to be taken to a whole nother level. There's going to be a ranking system involved as well, which is pretty nutty. So Rich did mention um, combining decks to everyone shares one deck. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. Hopefully you can opt out of that. There'll be different game modes to where you don't share a deck because quite frankly, I don't want people to have access to my OPS cards that I'm going to grind my ass off for in a duel, essentially. So. We're gonna kind of leave the uh, the, uh, the the Elder Mons online. We're recording it right now. Four Crux put this up. Elder Mon is going to be uh, the the card game instead of a Tamriel's Tribute or whatever it's called. But enough about the the hype about the card game. It's it's interesting. It's an interesting idea. I'm I'm genuinely kind of excited about it. I know. I know. The beauty of High Isle shines like a beacon to the rest of Tamriel. The summer set with but sunflowers. But it can't all be sandy beaches and sunflowers. The dark side of High Isle's success lies directly to the north. There, across the water, you'll find the dense, deadly jungle island of Aminos. This area serves as a prison for criminals and dissidents deemed unworthy of High Isle. Once inside, there are no guards, no law, and little chance of escape. I'm assuming this is going to be kind of like a PvP area, maybe, possibly. I'm just speculating, of course. On um, players can just enter and they're flagged for PvP. Kind of like in World of Warcraft, right? Um, that would be an interesting concept to actually have PvP riots fighting in safe zones, like like an area you can go to that's not Cyrodiil. Okay, maybe this is the predecessor of getting away from Cyrodiil. Maybe Horcrux isn't uh, too insane after all, right? We're just being. Like Thanos here, I'm I'm trying to, my, my whole idea about completely deleting Cyrodiil, snapping it away for the better good, I don't want to say I'm Thanos here, but uh, yeah, no. <clears throat> but uh, there's a few other things to talk about here. I mean, you talked about like the peace talk, so throughout the storyline, um, I'm assuming there's going to be peace within the alliances, and then there's this group called the... Ascendant Order, um, which they're pretty much trying to uproot to whatever peace talks are going on in the community with the, with the whole political situation. I'm not going to elaborate on that. I'm not a big lore junkie, but this is a brand new area no one's ever been into, so um, who knows? But yeah, uh, we covered the Ascendant Order. Uh, next on the list, um, we have... I can't even read my own writing here. Holy shit, we may have to edit this out. Maybe not. I think it's funny. Well, we'll keep it in. But... Um, there's a bunch of mounts. Uh, there's a really cool scaly mount in here. It's much different from anything I've ever seen. Uh, it's definitely unique. Um, pets, uh, the crab. No one got the crab. Um, I didn't get the crab. I've got crabs from elsewhere. Um, but I don't think anyone got the crab during the stream. Uh, maybe they did. I sure as hell didn't. But there's that. Other things to recap and talk about. Well, lack thereof, actually, is a zero roadmap to PvP changes or updates or server performance or anything in that nature they pretty much just explain that it is going to be an absolute just just lore fest is from the lack of a better word it's, it's going to be a lore fest 
Um, but I do have high hopes for this card game. I mean, that that, that is the only uh, redeeming factor about this video. Um, it's really sad that that's the only redeeming factor, but uh, it is what it is, boys and girls out there. The 1.9% of you who are my uh, female uh, demographics uh, viewer base. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entire global reveal in a nutshell, and there's really not much more to discuss other than that. Let me guys know what you think down in the comments about the trading card game in The Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I think it might be pretty cool. Um, light me up in the comments if you disagree. Otherwise, if there are any other points in the stream that I missed and that you guys may have picked up on, please also leave them down in the comments. Because honestly, I, I went through this whole video, I have a sticky notes here of pretty much everything and that's uh that's really much it all i wanted to talk about so um thank you guys for tuning in today's video don't forget to like and sub and if you want to kind of help support the channel all the proceeds i ever get from any donations any youtube memberships any patreon tiers this goes right back into the channel guys i'm not pocketing any of this except just to pay my bills and fund my crippling addiction to mac and cheese uh, microwavable meals okay so Details to all that's down in the description. And that's all I have to say, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.